I'm Mandy Thaliwal and I'm the director of the health group at the United Nations Development Program based out of New York. I'm Jeffrey O'Malley. I'm a consultant involved in strategic planning and governance in, in development and global health work. I worked for a long time for the United Nations. Um, now I'm working mostly for the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Well, I've been working on uh, health and human rights issues um, from the early days of the AIDS epidemic and then uh, working in India on these issues really uh, got me very interested in international work on these issues. I got involved in public health kind of accidentally as the HIV epidemic grew. And I was involved in HIV work domestically in Canada where I lived and uh, found myself being drawn into HIV work with refugees and, and then in my job uh, in development work. Something we're going to be talking about today is this new global policy framework called the SDGs, that's the Sustainable Development Goals. And those have been agreed at the United Nations to guide development policy uh, of individual countries as well as the international community from 2015 uh, to 2030. And, and they're incredibly ambitious, they're incredibly exciting, they touch on really every aspect of the world we live in, and that's fantastic, but it's also overwhelming. In health alone, you know, they, they aspire to make sure that everyone in the world has access to health care. Right now we're in the United States, as you know, the United States, one of the richest countries in the world, hasn't even solved that in the United States. When you start trying to include Malawi and Laos in that, you can see the challenges. And that's one of 16 different goals and 168 targets. So trying to figure out how to prioritize and, and how to build synergies amongst these different goals, I, I think is the big opportunity but also the big challenge. The biggest challenge is that, I mean, particularly for HIV, you know, there's still quite a ways to go to achieve the SDG targets around ending AIDS as an epidemic. There's a lot to do. Unfortunately, resources specifically for HIV and generally overseas development assistance for global health is going down for development generally. So it's a challenge to be more efficient and effective with the resources that we have and still help uh, low and middle income countries deal with the challenge and we have, in some ways it's exciting because we have the SDGs and an agenda which helps us to address some of the more complex problems around development, but it's also a much broader agenda. So it's a challenge to keep things like HIV high up on the agenda. But I think it's really important that everyone understands that uh, improving health of everyone and especially improving health of, of the poorest and the most marginalized, it's not just a job for doctors, it's not just a job for public health professionals. Most health outcomes are related to other things. They're related to the environment we live in. Uh, if, you, if you look at health outcomes again here in the United States, for low-income African-American women compared to high-income white men, um, they're, they're, they're dramatically different. And some of that's about access to medicine and doctors, but a, a lot of it is about the environment you're living in. So anything we can do to reduce inequality, to improve the environment, to increase access to education, to improve the status of girls and women, all of those things contribute to better health outcomes. Get involved locally because I think one of the things that the SDG office, you know, has has really put forth is that development inequality are issues everywhere. So get involved locally in the way that the city of LA is doing in terms of localizing the SDGs. Get involved with organizing in communities. Get involved with bringing students together at a university to work on these issues. So I think there's a lot to be done.